Well, hello, friends. It's Pearl of Wisdom here, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom coming to you live from my Vegas apartment basement. Yeah. These playoffs are freaking unbelievable. However, the Winnipeg game was a little slow, a little bit. Um, I didn't get it right either. I had Winnipeg, but I, you know what? I've been so freaking busy. I've been doing videos for all the Shifley stuff. If you want to check it out, go check it out. I've been doing some videos on the Shifley incident, and it's fascinating to me, the different views and stuff like that. I'm kind of an old school guy, so if you watch them, check it out. But uh, I didn't notice the Stastny was out. I, I probably would have. DeMello. But I'll tell you, Winnipeg needed to come back with a much more grindy effort than they did. Montreal played great, a great road game. But we had the under. That's the main thing. So we had the under. Didn't have the line. <coughs> and now I'm in the middle of watching the Vegas game. We also have the under there. And we have Vegas. And I think you know, I think Vegas is playing one heck of a game. I, I still think Vegas is going to win that series. Uh, but Colorado's a tough nut to crack. And you better beat them this year because they've got a ton of cap room next year. And if that team can add some more offense to what's – I don't know what more you need to add. I, I, I would, The only thing that's going to be uh, – I don't know what more you need to add. They got great defense, but if you got the cap room, they could add a sniper on one of those lines on top of what they already have. I'll tell you, they'd be almost unbeatable. But and and all that, their young players like Byram and uh, uh, those uh, like Byram and their and Timmins and all that are a year older and a year better, and that is good. It's going to be one stack team. Okay. So anyways, we, that's what we did for tonight. If we get Vegas, then we're up. And uh, during the playoffs, it's been tough. This has been a capper's nightmare. This, it's been it's fun for watching, but for capping games, I'm pretty much telling people don't bet much on these playoff games because they are woo voodoo. But if you like to have fun and throw a little money on it, let's take a look at it and see which ones we're going to bet on today. Well, I'm going to give you picks for all of them. Totals and sides is what I do. If you want my favorite picks, go to uh, uh, the uh, BPAL picks Patreon that I have, and I'll give you a free month. You can do it up. Just go in the comment section. Tell me about it and uh, tell me that you want it. I'll send you a link. I'll give you a free month if you take the $25 package. and You can see if you like it yourself. Tennis this year. I'm now clay court early clay court. I was a little struggling a little bit, but the French Open. I'm boom boom nailing nailing. So lots of money to be made over there. Okay, Carolina versus Tampa Bay. Ah, uh, what a tough series in Tampa Bay. Man, I am like back and forth on this because. In all honesty, Tampa Bay, I'll play Carolina last game. Mrazic, I didn't expect Mrazic to. They're probably going to go. Carolina's probably going to go back to Mrazic here again. I didn't expect. It's hard to get know what you're going to get out of Mrazic. My feeling is that Tampa Bay gets to play Mrazic twice. They'll get a better read on him, and they probably win this game. I think I got to take Tampa Bay on the money line. But like I said, I wouldn't put like, oh, can you get can you get some decent on the spread here? Oh, that's not a bad play. These games have been so tight. Every one in the playoffs, if you can get half your money back on a spread on a puck line, I think I'll do it. Carolina puck line. And uh, if I'm going to just go with Mrazic's going to play very good at least. And uh, Vasilevsky always does. And we'll go, we'll go, I think I like the under the best on this. Under at 171. What can you get on these 
I'm, well, I'm showing you this because these are all the bookie sites you can go to and you can get your best odds. Five dimes, got 174. So you should always, you should have, should be signed up for all of these sites so you can get your best odds for each play. Like some of these ones, look, you're getting 225 if you decide to go Carolina. Uh, on the spread on that, what are you getting? What's your, what's your best you can get there? 153. You get 153. It's only a couple points, but you might as well take it if you can. It all adds up in the end. Um, anyways, under. Now, if you don't like to give up that much juice, I'd probably go with Tampa Bay. I just think Tampa Bay with Mrazic and that will probably get her done. But it's one heck of a tough series to be putting money on. I'll tell you that right now. Boston versus Montreal. I'm a little more. I'm a little more comfortable with taking Boston here again. I I think I took Boston to win this series in five. Uh, the Islanders are always going to make it tough. Even if you do win it in five, it's going to be a tough five. Uh, I just like Boston's uh, offense. Really, um, I'm a little concerned with Carlo being out for Boston, though. That that does concern me a tad on this. And uh, Islanders losing back to back at home is not something that happens too often. But I said five. I'm going to go with it. Uh, I'll take Boston ML. You're getting pretty. You're not giving up all that much juice. Last time I went the over on the five, and now I realize my mistake on that. Um, I think the Islanders know that if they're going to win this, they're going to have to be opportunistic, and they're going to have to play stellar defense, uh, which they have been. And they have an opt opportunistic too, because Boston's been out shooting them almost every game. So I'm gonna go. I take a look at this. You're getting plus money at uh, Bet Online for the under five dimes, two o five. Uh, sport I bet two o five. I think that two o five is probably the best. Yeah, you can get it at two o five. Yeah, take the under five. So we got Tampa Bay, or sorry, Carolina, puck line. If you don't like to give up that much juice, we'll go Tampa Bay ML. I just like the higher percentage on the on that for the extra, giving up the extra 27 cents on, the, on your bet. Uh, and under again, and Boston ML and under Boston ML. Uh, under five and if you go to opening i like this go to this opening up they give you killer odds on unders here go here get it you're going to give up a little more juice but it's a far more likely this is going to be under five and a half go get opening i love that i love that uh that bookie they give you great odds on uh they give you excellent odds on underdogs too quite often um, what are they giving you on the underdog here? 211. Okay, actually, they're shortening up the odds on the underdog on this. Look at this, it already changed. Are you kidding me? You only get 267 on Tampa Bay? Never mind. What, what do you. Didn't that just change like right now? Call me crazy. I'll have to look back on the video. If you're only getting 267 on the money line, it did change. Let me see this. Spread. No, 153. Maybe not. Must have been my eyes. Okay, okay. So Carolina puck line is what I would do for 153. That's my full 42. Go check out my vids on the whole Shifley hit situation. Tell me what you think down there. If you think I'm nuts, that's all right. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. I got guys down there telling me I'm, I don't know hockey and I'm an idiot and blah, 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 on and on and on. And, you know, I don't block them. I, you, I, go ahead, man. We can go at her. I still love you. <laughs> Have a great day, man. Take care, Kate. Oh, weekend, actually. Have a great weekend. Okay, bye.